Hey, Scorpio. Welcome, 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 Scorpio. Let me start over. Hi, Scorpio here. Welcome, 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 welcome. This could be for Scorpio. Okay, that sounds way better. So, I don't know. Week 3, June 2021. I don't know if something seems off or... You might have a conversation. I, I mean, Pisces, there was something coming in like that. But, um, something just doesn't feel right there, right? So I don't know if it was like, I wasn't uncomfortable, but I was like, just didn't sound right. So I, I don't know if it's like perfectionist mode. I, I don't, I don't know what that was about. But Scorpio, week three, June 2021. Love my Scorps. Love my Scorps. I got a lot of Scorp in my chat. A la 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 Four Wands The Tower Five of Cups Knight of Cups Two of Cups Two of Swords Something ends as quickly out of the blue, some type of relationship, something. Five of Cups, Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, Two of Swords, Broken Promises. There's like an ending and a new beginning here. So let's start with the ending. doesn't even sound right it's, it's almost like I'm getting who cares about the ending like that's very odd <sighs> this was wanting something solid having the opportunity like commitment something house something camper i mean something something random out of the blue like came in i don't know if it was jealousy I, I, it, it's just like it's the tower right so it's about to go down if it hasn't somebody's really upset stuck in the past but then here i don't know if this is the same person wants to come in and apologize with the knight of cups and the two of cups like mutual energy but to me this is like broken promises I don't know if somebody was already married but had some type of new connection with you. Because the Four of Swords, I, I see two people married back there in the background. So this is usually daydreaming about this, right? But it's crowning that. So, And then with the Two of Cups next to it, it's like, did you meet somebody new? Is it mutual? But then it's, it's like needing to make a decision here. But this is like a broken promise. So you do have energy that's like all over the place here. There might be a commitment that's like random out of the blue and it, it takes you out of a, a funk. You're going to need to make a decision. This would be somebody you know, somebody you like. This is somebody who's definitely daydreaming about you. It's like, it's like you decided to go in a new direction. It's, it's the full energy, right? You're on a new journey. You're doing this. But it's like they're sad. So it's like either you or somebody else had to take a journey alone. It looks like there was an opportunity, but it's, it's a missed opportunity. The Five of Cups is here. It's like you had an opportunity, and now it's missed, and now this energy is like, can't stop thinking about you, daydreaming. How do I do this? Do I promise? Do I do that? See, there's a little obsession here, lust with the Nine of Pens, with the Two of Swords. This was somebody that is a little obsessed over you, or was a little obsessed over you. No, it's not was. It, I mean, that energy is not gone. It's still around. It's a little obsession here. So I don't know if this is an apology, Nancy. This is someone who kept you on hold. 
This would be somebody who physically changed their mind, saw something differently. It's like now they see a future with you. Now they see love with the eight of pens now, you know, but they had an opportunity to work on it. This is somebody instead of putting effort into the connection, they put it into work and other things. Yeah, see, they, they had a chance. It could have been too many people in the picture, too. Somebody from somebody's past. Not sleeping together, but somebody. Six of swords, nine of wands. This, yeah, see, you would have you would have knew about this. You would have known somebody's energy was going elsewhere. So now there's like a tower because this person with the seven of pens is like, they didn't invest wisely. So... This is somebody who wants to build something new now with you. Now sees something differently. Feels sees like they missed an opportunity. And this was somebody who was stubborn enough, you know, where they let you walk away. Now they're like, oh shit. Somebody's definitely wondering where your attention is, where you went, where you gone. So now we have an empress here. It's got real lightheaded, so on another note, be careful. Scorps, I don't I don't feel like you must be ascending. Somebody else was definitely in the picture. A wife, a kid's mother. Because you got the Empress and Ten of Pence. This is something long term. Unless it's random and they want to come in and work with you. But see, the, no, no, this was some type of connection. Like something else is keeping them busy. Yeah, it's like somebody was too busy trying to fix something else and instead of, and it was something that was like over. It was already dead, you know. Um, they could have been dealing with money, financial side of things, but this is somebody who now realizes like, shit, I, I, I let this energy walk away. I missed an opportunity. Someone definitely missed an opportunity with you. This is somebody who definitely is wants to come back around. I don't know if they will, though. Well, I mean, they will. I don't know if you'll give it a chance. Because now I have an energy of somebody who, like, really went within. I don't see Hermit here, but somebody like this towel. I don't know if you left. You stopped investing. Got the best of somebody. And now it's like, hmm. Scorpio. A snake. So you got Earth. Could be dealing with an Earth sign. Or it's just you. Message for you. Guardian of the Unwakened Magic. Magic and Creative Potential. The snake is a symbol of a highest potential. It's... It creates life force. It lies dormant at the base of your spine. It is the form called the coil snake. Regardless of whatever this image rings true for you, it is the worth considering the amount of the unawakened or untapped potential within. What you would, within what you would look at with life if you wake it. How can you stir it from its slumber and experience meditation teacher or yoga can lead the way make haste the snake card appears when there is mo no time to waste see that was weird even talking to that and i like explaining that and it's weird i started the video like that too somebody might have a hard time talking when you're in balance you're creative you're charismatic 
when you're out of balance, you start, you start many things like off and on to bring into balance yoga and meditation, kundalini. There's, there's no balance here. I mean, something's like crashing. So stop wasting time if you're wasting time. If you're putzing around, not making moves, not going after this, whatever this is, like stop wasting time. You might just want to stop wasting time in general. Somebody already wasted time. They didn't realize what they had in front of them. It was too late. They missed an opportunity. Someone has unawakened and untapped energy, but uh, I don't, I don't see it anywhere here. Saying it with the snake clearly. So that's like a whole nother story. Yeah, see, High Priestess, it, it's like untapped, unused. It, it's like destined. So I don't know if you're about to go into something untapped. Because that's like a whole nother message for you guys. Which is amazing. So don't waste time in this energy. This is not energy of wasting time. Like, don't waste time with this energy. Something comes back around, let it come back around. But right now, this person had an opportunity. They kept you on hold. They didn't give to you. They gave, but they gave more to someone else. Whether there was a marriage, kid's parent, a mother, it doesn't matter. Like, they gave more to someone else. They try to work on it. Probably behind your back. But it's like now they see what they lost. So I don't know if you're making a promise to yourself. Someone's making a promise to you. Don't be doing any temporary magic. Any type of magic like this would be temporary. I think you already made a decision where to invest and where not to invest. So use your intuition here too. See now, so you got the emperor here too, emperor, empress. There, there is definitely a business partner. There was something, something. You're coming in as like a high priestess energy. Yeah, see, they had an opportunity to ground something with you. They chose not to. So it's ironic this energy is still sitting here. It's like stagnant. If you have spiritual stat, you know, yoga, something, music, meditation, something, because you have, you have something untapped here that you're about to access. Then you got the Ten of Earth, a very happy family life or financial life security, finding the magic in things. So you have something solid that comes out of this, whether it's you with them, working on you, like you're solid, you're grounded, you're good. Yeah, Queen Earth is talking about the feminine. Deal with any other challenge. Deal with any type of challenge that um, comes your way in a very understanding manner. You have messages all over the place. My spine's starting to hurt, like in the middle, like it's, it's very weird. Didn't it say something about your spine? Like, see, this, it's actually my spine. That's, I, guys, I, I've never felt my spine hurt like that. I feel like I just had an epidural and it's wearing off. I don't like the feeling at all. At all. I got the goosebumps. I don't like it. Like, it's not like it's a bad thing, but, like, 
Pay attention to me, those who have a lot of scorpion in your chat, feminine, masculine, regardless of this story right now. It's the guardian of unwakened magic and creative potential. So you're about to do something or go somewhere. And and where it leads you is the ten of earth and the queen of earth. Something's about to kick off for you. Could have to do with money or just stability. <coughs> Bless me, that was weird. I don't normally even sneeze that loud. And I was worried about hurting my back. It's, it's the spine, okay? It's like right, um, if this was my back, it would be like right here. And it's like towards the right. And I know the spine goes up, so I don't know why I'm feeling it there. The snake is a symbol of the highest potential. It said that Shakti, S-H-A-K-I-T, our creative life force, lies dormant at the base of your spine in the form of a coil snake. Regardless of whatever this image rings true for you, it's worth considering the amount of unwakened and untapped potential within you. What would life look like if you woke up? How can you stir it from a slumber? An experienced yoga or meditation teacher can lead the way. Make haste. The snake card appears. There's no more time to waste. There's something about you and your magic. So here's the deal. You're already spiritual. You're, there's already something going on here. The high priestess, I mean, you could even be a reader. You're just spiritual. You're in tuned. Crystals, like something. Like this is you. This is the feminine energy here. Something is untapped. It looks like you're about to tap into it. And it is it is spiritual. Maybe you guys want to start yoga. Like, because whatever it is, it will wake it up. But this is also a meditation teacher. Like, me, I could never do meditation. It gives me anxiety breathing. I'd have to do yoga. And just breathe my own way until I got attuned to things. You know what I mean? Uh... Whatever this is brings abundance, security. So tap into it if you can. It's saying no. So I don't think you're able to tap into this without someone teaching you yoga. A meditation so and now it's like the middle of my spine <sighs> um hold on I'm just trying to get answers for you because say you don't have the extra money to go to yoga or you can't be bothered or um, maybe I can look into like a, a good meditation, like a guided meditation to learn certain stuff, like something like on YouTube or something. Like maybe I can find one for you that can uncoil the snake and get you started. So I will write that down. Like um, there's there's certain ones I like have it labeled guides go aheads, which I know are okay to use. Um, but I don't think there's anything they are teaching meditation because it needs to be guided. And yoga classes are guided, but it's like that's different. You know what I mean? This is somebody. It, it's like. I'm hoping for your sake you just run into somebody or, you know. I 
I will go with, I'll go in a little more with that with you guys. I want one more regarding this snake. Tiger. That's fire. I see, I don't know if you're about to tap into it or what. But I don't want to leave you guys hanging like that. It's the lunar force, ease of darkness, feminine energy. The tiger hunts at night. At one with silence, fearing anything. Feeling, sorry. The tiger hunts at night. At one with the silence, fearing nothing. This card reminds us to take on the wild darkness. It allows the lunar forces to smooth and heal our spirits, sensuality, receptivity, and devotion to the heightens or midnight hour. The tiger takes advantage of these boons. Spend some time in silence this evening drinking in a potent calm. There is nothing to fear in this situation except the awakening of your own power. There's something going on with you guys. When you're imbalanced, you're passionate, you're strong, you're sensual. When you're out of balance, you're overstimulated, too much going on. Take a break. Candle glazing might be really good for you. Or tracta. Write this down. T-R-A-T-A-K-A. -A -A. Tracta. Tracta. Tratake. Tratake. Something. It, and in parentheses, it's, it's candle glazing. So dismiss all this for those who are in tune with this. Because this is a big deal. It's awakening of your own power. You have untapped magic here. And whatever it is, it's going to bring you a lot of security. And I'm telling you, it, to me, it's money. Got the Ace of Pens, Ten of Earth, Queen of Earth. Like, I don't know if you're about to master something. You're unaware. It's just, it's untapped, guys. And if any of you are feeling any type of thing on your spine lately, I'm talking like even like shoulder pain here, like I'm feeling it. It's giving me different sensations. So you have this ability, especially if you have a lot of scorp, apparently. And if you have more feminine energy than masculine in your chart, you can tap into this because it's telling me it's like you can work with the goddess, especially the, like the sexual energy. That is so interesting. I might do my and a read on this itself. I need to snap a picture of it. So this is tapping into your own power. Earth and fire, maybe fire magic. I did see some type of earth magic here too. I meant to say that earlier. I was like, if you're doing this, they're temporary, right? The, though this wouldn't be you. This is all masculine energy, so I'm not worried about that. But then it pulled me to, like, you might want to do earth magic, like plant your feet. And I, I've said it, in, I said it in my head, and I just didn't say it out loud because I saw it with the just, like, planting your feet in the dirt. Very interesting. All right, I'm going to go to Patreon. I'm not going to clarify that on Patreon, obviously. I probably do that its own little thing that's like a little extra message for you um let me recap real quick the tower is about to come in sudden out of the blue it's like i don't want to invest here i don't want to do that there's it's don't worry about if somebody's stuck on the past or you're a little like stuck in the past i i don't really feel like it's, it's you you might be a little bummed out about a situation but to me it's like no it's them it's like somebody missed an opportunity with you and and now it's like they realize that they want more. They give to somebody else. They chose wrong. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side with somebody else. Or somebody was dealing with somebody who kind of like manipulated them to stick around. But uh, they were overtaken with like desire when it came to you. It really was all about desire, even if there's love. Okay. Um, but I, I wouldn't 
focus on that if you are spiritual and you anything that you just experienced what I experienced with the spine and certain stuff going on here like I'd be more focused on this even if it just grounds you so again I will see you on patreon and I will go I will look into this a little more and I will look into the guided meditation to just at least start something. But again, you know, once you start something like that, like, don't take it lightly if you're a newbie. This is given, right? It's a gift that's given. But it, you need to tap it into it. Tap into it. Like, it's just not like there. Like, oh, got my gift. I can hear this. I can do this. It's not like that. This is something you physically have to go with and tap into, I think, like, when you're in, like, a higher conscious or, like, another dimension where you're in meditation mode. It's how you tap into it. And then it's, like, when you come through, it's, like, oh, okay. You know, you're going to get a little bits and pieces like that. I love you guys. I hope you have a kick-ass week. Bye.